Frisco Town Manager Nancy Carey steps down after a rough and tumble year. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. First, it's mostly official. Summit County controls almost all its COVID destiny starting next Friday. County Manager Scott Vargo. The dial is going to devolve at the state level and become a guidance tool rather than a mandated system that all counties need to follow. That's from a Summit Board of Health meeting moments ago. Here are the highlights, like mandatory indoor face masks, six-foot spacing for restaurants, three-foot spacing on patios, 10 or 11 p.m. last call for booze, and no more two-household, 10-person limit on lodging and dining. But then there is this caveat. If virus, uh, variants go um, crazy, if we start to see that our hospital here locally, the hospital within the region, the hospitals at the state level, are beyond capacity, then we'll have to take a step back. These are only recommendations. Metrics and restrictions are approved in coming days, ready to roll out by next Friday. Frisco staff and peers countywide were shocked yesterday when town manager Nancy Carey announced her resignation. I feel like, you know, the seas are a little more calm now. Uh, people are in better place, and I really haven't seen family at all. Carey is leaving Frisco after two years, saying the past year has felt like a lifetime. You really know that you're in a great team when you suddenly encounter a storm and you just say, I need everybody to grab an oar. And I need you to do this and you to do that and you to do this. And everyone said, on it, on it, on it. And we just rode with all of our might. She is proud of what she accomplished in a short tenure, like boosting the town's reserve fund and highlighting Frisco businesses. The town actually has better reserves now that I'm leaving than when I came. And that's an outstanding outcome from a crisis. She leaves Frisco in three to four weeks to spend time with her family in Nevada. So proud to be part of it. And I mean, I'm really, really sad to go. But I've just had a lot going on in family. I gotta go. Town Council is meeting today at 5 to discuss an interim manager and open the search for Carrie's replacement. This Sunday is the swan song for Argentine chair at Keystone, the first chair ever to spin there in 1970. Longtime director of lift operations, Grant Ellis, gives a history lesson. Argentine um, used to be the first lift in the state of Colorado to open, and it was a competition every year between Loveland Skier and Keystone. Ellis says A Basin was not in the opening day running back then because they had no snowmaking. It is a little bit sad to see it go, um, but the new Peru lift will be will really be an awesome piece of equipment. Take one last ride on Argentine this Sunday, closing day. Chair starts spinning around 10 or 10.30. Speaking of Keystone, as it felt like skiing in a wildfire this week, Georgia Jim from Silverthorne says it's been bad. So the smoke kind of takes away some of the enjoyment. I mean, the snow is still good. I still enjoyed it, but it's very smoky. Jim was out skiing today and said smoke from nearby pile burning is blanketing the slopes. You know, I mean, I support the Forest Service. I'm not anti-Forest Service, and I appreciate the work they do to, uh, you know, manage our forest. But I just thought, well, couldn't they have waited a week until Keystone is closed before they did all these burns right there at Keystone? Pile burning continues tomorrow and possibly into next week. In sports, the Rockies lead the Diamondbacks right now 7-1 to one in the eighth inning. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Boys Soccer plays Battle Mountain away tonight. Volleyball faces Battle Mountain at home. And the annual Imperial Challenge will be back early next week with two days of racing, April 12th and 13th. That's Monday and Tuesday. Bike from town to Peak 7, skin to Peak 8 Summit, and ski back down. Register at mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.